Well, good evening, everyone. Good to see you all tonight. We learned a new song this week that we really love. We want to teach it to you. I love the melody of it, but more than the melody, I love what it says. We're here tonight to praise the Lord. You ready to do it with us? Stand with us. We'll teach it to you. It goes like this. Let's go. 
God shouted after God.
Welcome, and you. Come on, let's give God a big shout. Come on. Somebody has to really give him some praise tonight. My God. This is the perfect time to hide in the crowd and let everybody else carry your praise. Or it's the perfect time to say, hey, God, there's a lot of people here, but you're going to hear me tonight. So one more time, let's give him the praise. Come on. Oh, wow. 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 Okay, calm down, calm down. I guess he heard her for sure, right? Put your hands up all over the place tonight. So glad to have you all here. Thrilled that you were able to make it, adjust your schedules, get your airplane ticket, however you got here. It's going to be a night to remember. This is going to be the night that you left behind your pain, your disease, your addictions, your doctoring. That's what we're believing for. That's why God is setting the table with this praise, with this anointing. It's not just to hear it and just to sing it. It's to partake of his divine nature. Tonight's the night you make a decision. No more arthritis. No more cancer. No more treatments. Say, I believe that. And say, I'm not a doctor. I don't take x-rays, but I have a vision for the scripture and a vision for the master healer. My faith is in him and in nobody else. He alone is worthy to be praised and to receive honor and glory. I put my trust in him 
and in nobody else. The Lord Jesus, he is my healer. Somebody give God a big shout. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more time, just give him a little. Hallelujah. Now, I want, you to, I want you to give a warning to the people that are around you. You tell somebody around you right now, I'm about to get excited tonight. I need some room to operate. Come on, tell them. Awesome, 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 awesome. Good to see you. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? I don't know. I'm running out of adjectives for you. You may be seated all over the place. Nice to have you tonight. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Um, look at your watch just for a moment. Just look at your watch for the first and last time. Look at it. Now look at that watch and say, you do not matter tonight. Come on, say, you're not my healer, my deliverer, and you're certainly not the anointing. So I totally disregard you in Jesus' name. Come on, give him one more praise tonight. Come on, give him one more, one more. This is the final night we've had healing school most of the week, and uh, our attendance has been stellar. The, the, the people that have come to learn have really, we've received. There's been miracles all through the day sessions and the afternoon sessions. It's absolutely been wonderful. And we were hoping, we were hoping that you, I don't know who you are, but you would show up here tonight and receive. There's a moment in the meeting the healing anointing will begin to move. And it's no longer, it's no longer, out of, it's out of my hands. It's you. It's you laying down your pride, laying down your, you know, whatever, and just saying, I'm jumping in tonight. All they did for Peter, Peter didn't preach, Peter didn't sing, they just jumped into a shadow. That's all they did. But what do you do? You just get in. When you, when you have music like this, worship like this, didn't they do a great job tonight, didn't they? When you have that, all you do is get in. I mean, you don't need much after that. If your faith isn't stirred up now, you do need a doctor. Come on, say amen. But I want you to put your hands up just for a minute before we go any further. I want you to get in touch with that one thing that really ails you. What is, what is your issue? The one woman had an issue, and it was her blood. We call it the issue of blood woman, but she really had an issue. And it was her blood. You may have an issue and it you may have an issue and it's your blood pressure or it's your liver. If you have an issue with cancer. Whatever it is, don't don't let it keep you back tonight. Tonight is the night to bring it into the light. We'll have a moment and a time here and God's gonna move. There'll be miracles in this room. I want you to be one of those. Whether you get it here at the altar or whether you get it in the hallway on the way out or whether you hit you on the way home or whenever you pull that cover up over your self and I'd complain and you didn't get it and you hit your head in that pillow and you get slammed from heaven. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. You remember, he's in charge of that manifestation. We're in charge of releasing our faith. The Bible don't say now manifestation is. It says now faith is. So we're in charge of the faith part. He's in charge of the manifestation part. And that manifestation part is based basically upon how you're impressing him with your expression. How much you're expecting, how much you're believing, how much you're anticipating, what you're willing to do. Just not just here, but when you leave here. How much you're willing to trust. And I sense, just sitting over there, I think this temperature here, is, I think it's pretty hot in here tonight. I do. I do. And we were out at Eagle Mountain, out at, the, uh, at Brother Copeland's church. George Pearson's the pastor there. And they had so many people, the overflow. Every building they had was on overflow. And I called a word out I'd never called out before. I said, there's somebody here with cranial blockage. 
I never said that in all my 45 years of ministry. I never said that word, but it came to me. I said, okay, I don't understand it, but there's somebody. Well, there was a paralyzed man in a wheelchair for 20 years in one of the overflow buildings. His wife got him over there. He came up, he was in the wheelchair there, and she started telling the story, crying. You could probably Google this. And she said, we were over in the overflow, and we heard that. And as soon as we heard that, something shot all through my husband. I said, well, what do you mean? And she said, honey, show him. He just stood up out of that wheelchair after 20 years. Oh, I don't know who I'm talking to here. Oh, my God. You know. and, and the wife began to act like she's the one that got healed. But, I mean, they're one. We know that. But that, see, whenever someone in your family is suffering, it affects everybody. Cancer is the whole family. When you're in pain to a certain degree, it's the whole family. If you're carrying around a heavy past, you can't get rid of it. Everybody feels it. They don't talk about it. Your freedom tonight sets your house free. Your healing, your, your breakthrough, your positivity. You're getting delivered of something. You, you can get delivered by, from more than demons. You can get delivered of pain. You can get delivered of being confused. You can, you can get delivered from being an irritable, irritable person. <laughs> How many have run into a couple irritable people this week? Come on, let me see. You can get set free from a lot of things. It just lifts. The fear of the uncertainty of the future. Your retirement money. You can walk out here tonight and say, man, it's, it's in his hands. I'm a giver. I'm a, it's in his hands. It's going to be all right. Wouldn't that be an amazing thing? That new car you need, that extra car you need. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's about to show up. You, you got to, you, you move out of that iffy zone. You move out of that I don't know zone. You have somehow, some way zone. And all of a sudden you say, man, it's here. It's here. I, I almost could see it. I, I feel like I got the car keys in my pocket. I mean, you got to move out of where you are. And you got to let the Holy Spirit do that. And st stop talking about your age. And quit telling people not bad for 60. How you doing? Not bad for 73. That's complaining backwards. Come on, somebody. <laughs> you should say, man, I'm alive. Number one. Come on, say, I'm alive. Say it again. I'm alive. I'm a little dinged up, but by God, I'm alive. And I'm going to get more life in me than I've ever had before. It's about to leave my body. If I don't get healed tonight, I'll shake it off by tomorrow morning. Come on, give him a mighty shout. You know, there's a lot of songs we sing here, but mostly we sing songs that's going to really agitate your faith percolate but you can't wait to to get healed sitting in your seat you don't need me to touch you I'm not your healer you don't need me to touch you I'm, we're just here to help you step into that shadow at some point you're sitting in that seat and you don't feel that growth that hernia down here you kind of rub down here. you can do that nobody even know what you're doing come on just right down there just keep looking ahead don't look at it just keep looking ahead <laughs> And man, where'd that hernia go? As soon as anything happens to you, I want to know that. I want you to get out of your seat, get to one of our ushers over here, and tell them, say, hey, my hernia is gone. My back pain is gone. I can see that exit sign. I couldn't see it before. Don't you dare keep that to yourself. I will send ushers to your house if I find out you kept something to yourself. Come on, put your hands up and say, Lord, you do it. And I'll shout about it. You do it here, I'll share it here. I'm tired of being afraid. I'm tired of hiding everything. You deserve all the glory. Come on, give it to him right now. Come on. Come on. Come on, give him all the glory. Oh, glory. Now, if you don't know how to get excited, because where you go to church, you're not allowed to get excited. 
that just watch some people around you and just do what they do. So if you see someone going like this, then you just, I don't know how to do that, but you just do like that. If you see them shouting and you don't know how to shout, then just follow along. Ah! And something will hit you. I'm telling you, the grace of God is in this house. Come on, the grace is in this house. Whoa. <laughs> Come on. Woo! This is not the night that when you're driving, you tell someone else to go. Go ahead in front. No, no, you go. You get, you go. Say, I'm, I'm, my engine's running. Come on, my foot's on the gas. I'm going after. I'll be nice tomorrow. Come on, say, tonight I'm taking it. Come on, somebody give him a praise. Come on. Woo! My God. What's the matter with this section over here? Come on. <laughs> Shit. That's it, man. Just imagine if you leave here and you don't have to take insulin anymore. Or therapy. Or chemo. Or dialysis. Imagine, wouldn't it be horrible if you had to cancel a surgery? What if you went back to the dentist, your teeth were all straight? What if you went back to get that filling and they're already filled? <laughs> Don't you dare limit God. You take the limits off God tonight. Come on, you take the limits off. You take them off. Come on. What does that mean? That means you just don't be a spectator here. The whole time there's healing going on, but we're praying here. You're out here saying, man, that's going to go. That, you're busy using your faith in that seat. I receive, I receive, I receive, I receive. If somebody's poking you, shut up. I'm trying to receive. I, I receive. <laughs> Leave me alone. I receive, I receive. Come on. You have to sometimes get a little bit more, more aggressive. While I was in that service, I felt that I was other people get you didn't do nothing. You're you're not a robot. Come on, say I am not a robot. I got the life of God in me. His nature and His ability. I got the life of God in me. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Who do we have here out of state? Who come here to this meeting? You're out of state. Tell me where you're from. Stanton Island. You. <laughs> that's beautiful Christians and I just started watching it for the last month and I became a partner and I want to help other people that they can get healthy and serve the Lord and I want healing and I came here to be with all my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ it would take a New Yorker to do that come on right there he had a timbre jumped on a plane I had to get here tonight thank you for coming where are you from sir where? Louisiana. Louisiana. Bajan country. Good to have you tonight, sir. Rochester, New York. Where? Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York. Awesome. And the devil tried to keep me from coming today. He did. He tried three times. He made me fall and my girlfriend fall. He pushed us down. And I got sick today and I told him, you're not going to bother me today. Get out of here. I love it. Where are you from, sir? Wilmington, North Carolina. 
Wilmington, North Carolina. I did a service there many years ago. Yes, ma'am. Right over here, David. Macon, Georgia. Macon, Georgia. Williamsburg, Virginia. Williamsburg, Virginia. Okay. Jane from Portland, Oregon. But you better behave. Up. You better I'm behave kidding. tonight. <laughs> I love Pastor <laughs> Billy. I love Pastor <laughs> Billy and Melanie. They are so precious. If it wasn't for Pastor Billy, I would not be here tonight. Oh, my. I would not be here tonight. His mentorship has saved my life. Oh. Bruce. What do you say to that? Huh? And you're from where? We're from where? Portland? You're from Portland. You live in Portland. And what about Illinois? You, you drove here from Illinois. How great thou art, how great thou art. Come on, everybody. How great thou art, how great thou art. the day create that presence all through the day with your mouth and your mind all through the day it'll cleanse your mind it'll keep the devil from sowing more seed it'll make peace with your past as a matter of fact you'll forget who you used to be if somebody tries to remind you you'll say that man is dead remember when we robbed that bank I don't remember that you have to remember that no, that man died. There's a new man now. You're crazy. I'm not even going to mess. You send the devil away bewildered. How many want to bewilder the devil? Quit answering the phone call. Quit opening the door. Spend your day just singing the praises and remembering the good things that God has done. That he forgave you. That you were saved. You got born again. Well, you're about to tonight. They have a swimming pool right outside here. Come on. We'll hold you under till you are saved. And our baptism, I say, keep them down until you see bubbles. Come on, somebody. You got to know that you have an experience so you can never be questioned. You need to make peace with him tonight. David, who do we have here? I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville. What church do you go to there? Louisville. Louis. Well, Evangel World Prayers. That's my friend, yeah. my dear friend, yeah, Pastor, Pastor Bob. Pastor Bob, Rogers. yeah. It's a great church. I love Pastor Bob. I love them. They're good people. Did you drive down or you flew down? Great to have you. Yes, ma'am. From Yorktown, Virginia. From where? Yorktown, Virginia. Yorktown, Virginia. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. It's near Virginia Beach. Okay. What brings you yeah. here tonight? The healing school and then just to um, learn to hear God better. Just. I want to receive that to, go, to be able to hear God better and then healing for my eyes, too. Okay. It's going to happen. Amen. You better shout, honey. Amen. You better <laughs> shout when it happens. I want the desk clerk to hear you. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Who's over here? You flew in tonight from somewhere. You drove in over here. David, who's over here? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yep. Uh, yep, New Hampshire, uh, back for another round. We, we saw you over in Bradington at the Family Church, and uh, we're back again. So, <laughs> How are you doing? You doing better? Yeah. Um, your your healing is being perfected? Yes. Come yeah. on, say so you can perfect Hallelujah. any healing. Say, you can perfect any healing. Your hearing can get even better. So can your eyesight. So can your strength. Don't think the healing touch you receive that it doesn't get any better. If you do the right thing, you'll perfect it. And it will get stronger. Come on, and you're going to get 
more testimony out of it. You've got to get more mileage out of that one touch so that he can trust you with a boatload of miracles. So you're from uh, uh, New Hampshire. Yes. What church do you go to there? Um, we Don't make one up. Don't <laughs> make one up. <laughs> well, we do a, like a home church. Okay, home church. Great. So, Great. Um, That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, I got uh, when you prayer for it from you last time, uh, and it was a good 30% uh, of my vision uh, got better. Wow. Um, uh, the card, I was filling out the card, and uh, on top, the, everything was so much smaller than the bottom, and the, I was able to do, uh, fill out the top. You could see the print on the card yeah, that, that you couldn't be, color. you couldn't before. Yeah. Somebody give God a shout. Come on. Wow. Awesome. Are you by yourself? Is your wife with you? Yeah. Well, stand up in, in your name. Jen. Great to have you. Yes, great is to it, be is here. Is this true what he's saying about his vision? You, yes. That has to be a blessing to you. Yes, definitely. Yeah, and I gave my testimony um, about my neck. Do you remember the canceled surgery? Well, go, give, it, give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, back in 2016, I injured 2016. my neck. Want to get a little volume on there, Tito? I can't hear her. In 2016, I injured my neck. Um, I blew out a disc between C6 and C7 uh -huh. when I went sledding with my daughter. Um, so I was in considerable pain. Um, could only drive with my right arm. And so I was having a lot of people in the body of Christ pray for me. Sure. And um, I decided to go ha to schedule a surgery. I saw a surgeon, and they were going to do a surgery where they were going to put a metal plate and a spacer and some screws in my, like my neck. Him. And before I went to the scheduled surgery, I decided, decided to come see you in Pittsburgh. Um, I think that was in the end of May of 2018. And I received a healing touch from God at your meeting. And um, I did think I was healed at that point because I was running around and I, I really felt good. But when I got home, I, the pain returned. Um, so I decided to go have the surgery because I was afraid that I was going to lose sure. my left sure. arm. You did the right thing. Yeah. So when I was um, actually in the hospital, Catholic Medical Center in New Hampshire, had a scheduled surgery. I was in the Johnny. I had the IV in my arm, and I was just waiting my turn. And I prayed a little prayer to God, and I said, if I've gone before you, Lord, please cancel the surgery, if not protect me. And I didn't really think much of it when I prayed that, you know, so now I just kind of laid in the fetal position waiting my turn. And within 45 minutes, the surgeon came in and he said, I have to cancel your surgery. <laughs> he said, I'm overbooked. My name is Pastor Billy Burr. So, <laughs> Come on, somebody yeah. give God a shout. Yeah. Now. This is your ear gate. These are your eye gate. God lets things pass by your ears to hear it for a reason. There's a reason you heard what you heard in the elevator, in the surgery, like she's saying, in the hallway. There, there's a reason. Quit taking things for granted. God is dropping angel dust all over. He's dropping revelation. He's giving you seeds of faith. He's preparing you for what he's about to do in your life. All, one church don't have all the answers for you. Neither does a healing crusade. It's You are a project. You're a miracle in motion. And you got to get ready for all that he has for you. And the first thing he has to do for many is wake you up. Come on, somebody, wake you up. And, and what wakes all of us up is whenever you hear a testimony like that. We, we didn't screen her. We didn't screen any of these people you're going to hear here tonight. Whatever they say, that's coming out of their experience. If you don't think any of it's true, meet them after the meeting. Settle the issue. Quit living out your life in doubt. Oh. Jamie Buckingham, I became great friends with Jamie Buckingham. He wrote The Daughter of Destiny, the Catherine Kuhlman book. And, and Jamie called me to come and meet him over in, on the East Coast. And we were standing in a gentleman's kitchen, a doctor. He was a doctor. We were in the kitchen. And Jamie was, was a critic. He was a, he was a strong critic. You guys know that. Bob and Joan, you know that because you know 
You, you knew Jamie? And, and he, he criticized Catherine and crit doubted the miracles. And he called me, basically, to say that he was sorry for what he did to her. See, he couldn't get to her because she's in heaven. I'm thinking, I don't want to begin to take all this confession from other people. I could be very, very busy. You know what I mean? And I said, well, Jamie, I'm sure she would appreciate that. He said, let me tell you a story of what she did to me. I said, oh, boy. He said, she called me whenever she heard that I was saying this stuff and what I put in the book. She hired me on payroll to go to the houses of the people that said they were healed. You know what he said? Door after door, house after house, and person after person. Healed, healed, suddenly healed, gradually healed, 90% better, can see way better, healed. He said, I was shocked. He said, Billy, I was so sorry. But I was so conflicted on my inside. What was keeping me from going all the way to believe? What was hindering me from becoming an absolute believer, a fully persuaded individual. I didn't want any of that skepticism in me because you can't help too many people. That whole world out there don't know the God we worship. They know the sign of the cross and they know stained glass windows and, and they know the preachers that are on television. But to experience that presence, to have that glory move through your body and to see better, feel better, and he said, I began to really, for the last days of my life, he passed right after that, Jamie did. He said, I wanted to bring you here and just tell you how wrong I was. I didn't know what to do with that. I just said, Catherine, he's sorry. <laughs> she don't care. She's up there in glorified form. But don't live conflicted. And make extra effort before you get too critical or you begin to block out the blessing that God has for you in not just you, but in those people that live with you. Those children, those grandchildren. My children know about supernatural. I don't have any grandchildren, but if I ever do, they'll know about it. If it don't come from me, it'll come from my children. That's how, the, that's how righteousness passes through the seed line. Jesus didn't get dropped out of heaven. He came out of the seed line of David. Come on, somebody. He killed the giant. He was cast down through the seed line. That's raw genetic revival. You know what that is? That's called the generational blessing. That's what we all need in here. Instead of getting free of the curse and free of the curse and free, I get that. But after you get the curses, I think, give me that blessing. And if it doesn't come down at me, let it start with me. And if your child's old, you say, but my kid's too old. He's 38 or she's 42. You change your mind here tonight and a, and a, and a, a laser shoots up into him tonight. He may not tell you about it tonight, but he'll stop drinking to by tomorrow. The nicotine habit will break by next week. He won't know what hit him. And it may be longer than at that time period. We can't always tell. But when you break a curse here, you're thinking, well, I can't get to him because he's too old. Or she's too young. She don't even have lived life yet. You send it up and you send it down. That's the power of giving generational stuff growth. So you're not alone. You affect. Your, 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 your influence tonight is it's not random. It's in your bloodline. I don't know how many children your daughter's going to have or your son's going to I don't know how many children. But think about the head start they'll get because you get a curse broke out of your seed line. You say, I don't understand that. I don't fully understand anything. I don't understand how these lights work. I turn my key in my car, it sounds like a race car. I don't know how that sounds. I put gas in and, and, and the needle moves. I don't understand anything hard. I don't understand my laptop, but I use it. We better start trying to quit understanding everything and start believing some stuff 
Come on, say out loud, God's on my side. Who should I be afraid of? What circumstance should I fear? My miracle is something's about to change. Give him a real raw shout tonight. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me, man, where you're from. East Providence, Rhode Island. Huh? And my nephew has brought me here. Wonderful. Great to have you from Rhode Island. Great to have you. Yes, thank you. Ma'am, over here. I think we should have more guys back here with this. Than... Go ahead. Yeah, Char Sharpsburg, Georgia. Okay. Yeah, read, got your letter, and, and I found out you were having this healing service, and I, three words stuck out to me, waiting, contending, and crying. Wow. And I've been waiting in expectation for the healing of the Lord from cancer. Come here, and come, here. Come, here. come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, lady, get up here. Somebody better get a little bit excited. Come on. My God. Oh. What kind of cancer are we fighting here? It, it was breast cancer in 21, and they said I was free. Then, then I had to have surgery in 22, and then... In the beginning of the 23, this, this last year, broke my femur, and then there was another lump. So it was a result of breast cancer. And where's that lump at And now? the lump is right here. It's under Where? my arm, Where and then it? one. Where's the lump? Right here. Oh. I'm not going to have it anymore. I'm going to be healed tonight. What's the matter with this place? What's the matter? Come on, somebody give God a shout. Give him a shout. That mighty power of the Holy Ghost. Yo. Who's this? Who's this? The daughter? When somebody comes up, you should know who they are. Okay? Just ask. We got it. No, it's too late now. You're the daughter? Okay. You see, you, you better check. Do you know that checking yourself is a real sign of expecting? She didn't even know she was healed yet. She thought she still had a lump. You're about to lose some stuff here tonight. <laughs> My God. You say, why do you, Billy Burke? So how could you not get excited? That's what we, why we do this. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. He's telling us that he's here. He's here. He's in this room. And there's no respecter of people. It is no secret. Come on, can we sing that? It's no, what God can do for him, for her, he'll do for you. But I want you to be checking tonight. You should be checking your eyes. What God? Come on, what he's done for others. What he's done. What he's done for others. He'll do for you. Come on, with arms wide open. With arms wide open. He'll pardon you. He'll pardon you. It is no secret. It is no secret. What God? What God can do? Come on, everybody, it is. Come on, it is.
All right. Wow, wow, wow. You may be seated. You may be seated. Wow. Hey, I've gotten excited over a lot of football games, over a lot of basketball games, over a lot of stuff. I'm not going to tone it down for this. The, the actual miracles that God does. Who else is from out of state? I, I got off the... Who else? Any, anybody else over here came out of state? You drove in, you flew in? Yes, sir. You're from... Uh, Pittsburgh, PA area. Pittsburgh, PA. The Healing Stream School, that's right. Amen. I love you, Pastor. Great to have you. Are you here for tonight? You're going home tomorrow? Or? Uh, I'm leaving in the morning. You're yeah. leaving in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Or real early. Yeah. Back to Pittsburgh. It was real snowy and cold and all that stuff. Yeah. But I'm taking the Your motives. He's here for the right reasons, I think. That's yeah. really great. You're from Houston, Texas. Wonderful. You guys are amazing. Your missionaries. Yes, sir. And where are your missionaries at again? Well, we've been to Russia, we've been to Brazil, we've been to the Middle East, we've been recently more, uh, more recently more to Bogota, Colombia. Yeah. Stand up, let them see. We give the yeah. missionaries a big God bless you. Yes, yeah. yeah, go ahead. In 2017, the story he was telling you at Eagle Mountain. We witnessed that. I was in the far corner of the room. I wasn't up in this close section. But you could see from every direction that man get out of that wheelchair. And when he got out of that wheelchair, I jumped to my feet and I thought I was going through the roof. I literally thought, and the roof is about this tall. I thought I was going through the roof. And when I came down, I landed two seats over. We've been called into missions and been doing it for over 30 years. But you get fuel that needs to be refueled. That refueled me seeing that man get out of that wheelchair. And the healing piece was the piece we were missing. Salvation, teaching, preaching, laying hands on the sick, expecting, but not a lot of seeing. And when I saw that man get out of that wheelchair, my vision for going back to the field, because we were waiting for our next assignment. We went into Russia when the wall first came down of communism. So we know what that looks like. We went into Brazil and worked to help with the Bible school there. Everywhere we've gone, we've seen good things. But this healing piece. This healing piece. Come it's on. The it's the peace. <laughs> say peace. it. This healing. It's the healing peace. peace. Come it's on, say I got to get that peace. It's the peace. It's that peace that people need. They don't believe for it. They don't even trust God for it or even ask for it. And there I am. I've jumped up. <laughs> don't know where I'm going to land. Come down two chairs over. Touch two of my friends that were with me and they got healed. <laughs> Our vision got healed. Two months later, we go to Words of Life. In Miami, where Pastor Billy is, because now we're endeared to him because I cried through the whole meeting. At the end of the meeting, Joan Green, the other part you see, is the bookend to that first miracle and the last miracle from the 2017 Eagle Mountain, Miracles on the Mountain, the very first one. Those two together, I, you can just go scrape me off the ceiling since all this having witnessed them. And it set us back to go, okay, Lord, where's our next place we're going to move oh, cool. because we always live overseas. We went to Pastor Billy's meeting in Florida and he called us out. He didn't know anything about us. He didn't know we were in that previous meeting two months ago. He called us out. And when he called us out, here's what happened. He prophesied what we went there to find out just in the atmosphere. 
We wanted to know, Lord, where is our next place you're moving us? Because you've reunited us in such a way that we're just on liftoff. Where is it you're sending us? And when we were in that meeting and he called us out, he prophesied that our vision and we got an impartation. And four and a half months later, we went back to that same church he was at. And when we did, that vision was read. That whole thing was put in us. And when he read it, there were four countries in there. But this time, we were not going to be living in country, which we've done over and over and over and over. Now we're going to go in and be two, three, four weeks and come out. Wow. A whole new, a whole new change with a whole new grace to go with it. Don't underestimate what God can do for you. Come on, give God a shout. Come on. Come on, my God. Woo. Where are we from? Jackson, Tennessee. Where? What did you say? Jackson, Tennessee. Jackson, Tennessee. You both are from Jackson? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, I've got a Chicago accent. Okay. So what brings you here from Jackson, Tennessee? Well, I had seen you. I've seen you twice. I was oppressed, and that demon come off of me, and I prophesied that in October. <laughs> Say that again. Don't scare anybody. Stay here. Don't run through the doors here. Okay, well, I had something come off of me. No, it's okay. If it was a, but, if it was a demon, say well, it was I mean, a demon. I don't, well, it come off around my neck while I was watching Catherine Coolman. You remember uh -huh. that story yeah, in yeah. October? Yeah. And then I, they had thought I had cervical cancer. And I told you, I was like, I don't even have cervical cancer. Uh -uh. But they did surgery and they didn't find anything, which I knew they wouldn't. And so I was coming up here visiting her and I Googled because I know that you're usually here. Because I know that I have something inside of me that needs to be unlocked. Uh -huh. And I'm standing in the gap for my children. And you prophesied a prophecy over me, because I'm single, that I would be the fourth man that brings blessing to God. And I've been standing on that for two years. And I said, this time when I come, when I go back home, I will have something tangible in my hands. Oh my. Like See, I'm, put, I'm not playing with your anointing that God has given you. You better not. I you better here. not. <laughs> I come here expecting, and I'm going home and testifying, and my kids will see what prophecy, what healing, and the supernatural. Come on, give her a big God bless you. Wow, wow. And so you're here, you're here for help. You're here to get it healed. I wasn't sure actually what I needed when I got here, but I've been in prayer with the worship. You guys rock, by the way. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I have PTSD. PT? PTSD. That's I was in the military. You're in the so military. So though my outward appearance is very bold and brassy, on the inside, I'm pretty much a mess. And so I just, I want the PTSD to like stop affecting my marriage, my children, my grandkids. Like I've gone to therapy, I've taken meds. Like I just want it gone. I don't yeah, want come here, hurry, hurry, get out of here. This is your night. Put your hands up. This is your night. This is your night. You're not going back the same. I said, loosen that lady. Come on, give God a shot. Loosen that lady. Be thou loose. You can tell how she's laying there. She's out. She's out. It's leaving it. You say, how do you know? It's called faith. You have to put words to what you're hearing. Faith. We're not hoping for anything. We believe it. We receive it. We believe it. She came for it and she got it. She got it early in the meeting. Some of you might have to stay here till 2 o'clock to get it. I'm just teasing you. Isn't that wonderful, though? What do we have back here, David? Uh, up, upstate South Carolina. Where? Upstate South Carolina. Spark Book area. Upstate South Carolina? Yeah. Okay. 
and tell me why you came here. Uh, get my healing. Uh, I said healing. What kind of healing? Uh, I'm legally blind. From? Uh, glaucoma, original. Retina. He's legally blind. Legally blind. Come on up here. Somebody better give God a shout. Your name is higher. Come on, your name is higher. Bring him up, bring him up. Your name is. You see him. You see that? You see that? How many? You see one. Okay. How many? It's partial. Okay. I used to see like. Six parts. With how many fingers? Two. Two. Yeah. How many now? Nothing. None. Woo! This is getting better. But before you leave here this evening, it's going to be more clear than you ever could hope it to be. Do you hear me? Come on, give God Woo! a big shout. Wow. Come on, give him a mighty praise. Come on, give him a mighty praise. You may be seated. You may be seated. You'll get, you'll get spiritual help tonight. You'll get Pilates up and down, up and down, up and down. And you'll get Holy Ghost. This is Pastor Phil Durstein's coordinator in, in Bradenton. She had a, you had a miracle happen here, right? Was it here? Or was it? No, it was at a Christian retreat. Tell, me, tell us what happened. Um, I was due to too much stress, which when they say stress can kill you, it really can. So I had too much stress and it short circuited my brain. So I had a stroke um, a couple years back and I'm a, I was a single mom of two. So and we're meant to be providers, caregivers, supporters. I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk. My own children had couldn't to take walk. care of me. Couldn't walk, couldn't talk. Mm -hmm. Who had to feed you? My kids, My at the time they were 14 and 16. So they, and my oldest had a, a job to try and help me. And, and, and that's hard for an independent woman, you know? So and I, I was not in faith. I did not have faith in God. I, I didn't, I mean, my faith got pushed years ago. I didn't go to church. I didn't, and, and God was telling me, you know, you need to go to this park. You know, I don't want to go to this park. And, and my son's like, Mom, I want to go to the park. I don't want to go to this park. Why I went because something kept pulling me, and it was very hard to move and walk. And and I was like, okay. And I knew what he was praying. And I was I looked up and I said, you know what, God, if you're really there, you gotta help me, or I I I don't I lose faith in you. I don't believe in you anymore. And I said, I'm 
low breadcrumbs ain't gonna do it. I need to be slapped like a billboard. And at that time, a dog ran into me. And a guy's like talking about this church. And, and it was at the park, it was, I thought it was abandoned. It was, it was a worship team. And a sermon was going on. And I'm like, you know what? This is really pulling me. I said, where's this church? And he's like, well, it's at Christian Retreat. And I'm like, okay. So he took me and, and he's like, there's this gentleman that's coming. You know, I really think you should see him. I said, no, he's probably a con artist. So, so, and I was like, so I, with no faith, watched the entire thing at the very back of the sanctuary, the very last row. And it was very hard. Like I'd take a couple steps and I would collapse. My body would just give out. So I sat in the very row, watched the whole thing. I'm like, yeah, no, he's a con artist. No, I don't believe that. But but it was at the very end. He literally goes, I have, there's 10 minutes. I've got 10 minutes left and I'm calling it. And I just very quiet in my ear said, go up and get it. I'm like, what? I said, what do you got to lose? You have everything to gain. So I was like, okay, well, I, my body collapses in four steps. How far can I get if I run? So I literally went, I'll be right back. And I went, boom, and I shot down. My body collapsed four rows away from the altar. And I started crying. I'm like, I'm right there. I'm right there. And I collapsed with these two women. And I, I, she's like, honey, you okay? I said, no. And I was crying. I said, I'm right there. I will drag my body to the altar to get this. If this is my only shot, I will get it. She's like, all right. And these women just like, Ugh. Picked me up and dragged my body to him. And I told him the thing. I said, you know what? I, I had a stroke and told him the story. And me with no faith said, the people were trying to hold on to me because I'll collapse. And I said, where's your faith? God's got me. Someone that had no faith said that. And he barely, and I mean barely touched me. I went, I am like a sack of potatoes. And I, I it was hot. The heat, as undescribable, the heat the immense heat, the warmth shot through my whole body. I could feel electricity in my brain and down my side. And it was my whole left side. And, and I, I got up and it was a little shaky. And, and he's like, okay, walk. And I start, as soon as I got up, I stumbled. And someone tried to, I was like, no, 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 no. And the, the greatest thing was my youngest was with me. He didn't know God because I didn't wow. know God. Wow. So... So I started walking, and I started jogging. I started running around, bawling my face out. And my, I looked over, and my youngest was crying. And he, he, he's, um, was, was autistic. He doesn't hug people. He went up to him, and it was like concrete. And it was at that moment his faith skyrocketed. He got baptized. He got saved. I mean, just, and, yeah. So, with me, I'm like, okay, well, I can't be used because I was sick. So many people have come up to me. I've had a stroke, seizures, brain bleed, and what I'm going through now, which God's, I'm not worried about it. God takes care of everything, so don't doubt it. You trust God wholeheartedly in everything you do and everything you got going for you. If something's hitting at you and hitting at you, don't worry about it. Because obviously the devil doesn't know who he's dealing with. He's dealing with God. So, so it's faith. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being bold. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for telling your story. Thank you. Come on, give her a big God bless you. Come on. Come on, give her a big one. Wow. Wow. David, David, over there. David, yes, sir. Good evening, Pastor Burke. Uh, been trying to see you for about a year now. I made it. And uh, just You're like to uh, you know I'm suffering with the loss of vision in my left eye, 70%. And uh, also I suffer with chronic back pain and I've had injection, nerve burns, everything. Nothing has worked. And I'm just here for a healing and you know, praise God. I've been working with Claudia in your office for some time now praying. And uh, I'm just here to assume what I can assume is in tonight. 
Do you feel anything moving in you through even at this point? What do you feel so far in the service? I'm still really stiff uh, in the uh, lower back and the legs. What do you see now? And I'm blurry. I'm mild blurry on the left side. Still blurry? Somebody better do something. Somebody. As we lift our hearts, as we lift. I'll get it. Later. A token of Holy, holy. Come on, holy, holy. From sweetheart. From where? Gainesville. What brings you here? Yeah, like uh -huh. um like anxiety and like coercive like thoughts and it like comes and goes, but I just uh -huh. want permanent deliverance and restoration <laughs> because I don't want it to be like temporary. There's powers all over <laughs> both of you. There's powers all over both of you. If you can stand, if you can walk, get out here. I don't know if you're going to make it to me. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. It's all over. It's just all over. It's all over you. It's all over you. It's all over. It's all over you. It's all over you. Come on, give God a big shout. Come on. Wow. You don't have any more of that. Those words will never come out of your mouth again. You have a healing. You have deliverance. You have the touch of God on you. Come on, somebody. Wow. Do I, have, do I have another testimony or two that you've been healed in the past meeting or so? Anybody? You, sir? You, sir? You've been healed in the past meeting? You, come on, hurry up. Get, hurry up. Get there, David. What? Hey there, my name's Colin. I was at your uh, Bradenton healing service that you had. I was there for all three days, and I had an incurable skin condition. I had taken three months off of work even, at least. I mean, it was serious pain. Um, and I, uh, in your meeting, nobody laid hands on me, but I was healed miraculously. I went to the doctor. I got a blood test. The doctor didn't believe it. They sent me for a second different blood <laughs> test. That one came back, so I want to praise God. I thank you. I appreciate this. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Get excited, you better. Oh my God. Woo. Woo. Give me um, just a couple more, then we got to get started. A couple more. You were healed? You were healed in what meeting? Uh, by you being instrumental. Yeah, of course. Uh, five years ago. Five years ago. Where was it at? Here? Tampa? Yeah, right here in this room. In this room. What, yeah. happen what happened to you? Well, it was, I was in a church service, not uh, a healing service. Okay. And I need to back up one second. I was flipping through the channels. You were I mean, to television channels. Yes. And all my life, I had been really deceived about the church. So most of my life, I just didn't go to church. I didn't want nothing to do the with it anymore. The didn't turn you on anymore. No. And I couldn't find a minister. But that day, I was I just flipping through the channels, and I saw this gray-headed fella. And he was, there was a lady there that had a little boy about five or six years old, and he was pigeon-toed. And I saw this man, he just kind of put his hands on that. Uh -huh. And I, I looked, and, and that little boy's feet straightened out. Yeah. And I thought, that's got to be God. No man can do that. <laughs> and when I did, the Spirit hit me yeah. through that screen. Yeah. And I had never felt the Holy Spirit in my life. Never felt the presence. <laughs> and this was five years ago. Yeah. And so I got on the computer and I said, no, I stayed there for a little yeah. while. I said, I got I to find this man's name. I got to find out. And so then I got on the computer 
and I found out where you was from, and I called Miss Mary answered the phone, yeah. and she said, told me how to come, and I come, and I stood before you, and I just said, I want more of God. Wow. And you backed up, and you looked at me, and I thought, he's telling me, he's just thinking about all my sins. <laughs> Say that out loud so everybody can hear what she Say that again. I, I stood before you and said, I want to know more of God. And you crossed your arms and you backed up and you looked at me in, in silence. And I thought, he's seeing all of my sins. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know you was hearing what I needed yes, to hear. Yes, thank you. And You'll scare everybody away if you say that. <laughs> So then you came back and you said, something's going to happen to you in a few weeks, and you'll never be the same. In five weeks, seven weeks after that, I found Jesus. And you were so instrumental in getting me there. I'm sorry? You were instrumental yeah, in getting yeah. me to receive Jesus. piece of the Jesus. puzzle, just a little piece of the puzzle. And I've been coming ever since. Oh. And it was... I can't give you the whole service, lady. Go ahead. With some. I just want to know. I mean, it, not only did you save my life, you saved my soul. I've, I've just always thanked God for you. Oh, my. And tonight I want the baptism of the Holy now Spirit. Now you want the baptism of the Holy Spirit. I sure do. <laughs> What's the matter with this section over here? What's the matter with this section? See, the reason for the stories isn't for me to hear this. The reason is for you to hear this. To, to give you every advantage tonight to be your night. Soon this service will be history. You'll be leaving, going to your car. And you can have all of it. You can have some of it. You can have most of it. You can, you can pick up the rest another day. But whatever you can absorb tonight, whatever part you can believe for, whichever one of these testimonies can, can get to the core of your being and shift your thinking a little bit, just a little shift. And you walk out of here a different person. But you've got to quit saying, it can't work for me. It doesn't work on blood pressure. It most certainly does work on high blood pressure. But I'm a little past the healing age. And not if you're breathing, you're not. And if you're dead, we can raise you. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I mean, once the skillet gets hot, whether it's an egg, a piece of ham, or ground beef, it all fries fast. Quick testimony, quick testimony. Yes, sir, Sean, yes, sir. Um, a year ago this month, my life, my family's life was completely changed in this room. Uh, I suffered from, I used to have four compressed discs in my back. Four compressed discs. Four compressed discs, no fluid in between my vertebrae. It was the disc that squeezed all that out. Um, couldn't touch my toes, could barely put on my pants. Very belittling have to be dressed by your by your wife and your, your children wow. help you put on your wow. socks to go to work but uh, so I came in here for a healing for my back and um, the day after that I was in the woods and my heart was on fire you talk about your body being on fire my heart was on fire you said something that sometimes we come in here for healing for one thing but God tells us you need to get healed for yeah. something else yeah 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 so Monday heart was on fire Tuesday heart was on fire made lunch <laughs> when you live in pain for 14 15 years you deal with another pain right so I'm thinking well what did you just set on fire here right um, and the Holy Spirit came over me and said we have to heal your heart before I will heal your back <gasps> like clear as day and I had to write down and I wrote down names of people I needed to call people I haven't spoken to people that I did wrong people that did me wrong that I just had to 
forgive and let go. Who does that? Yeah. Who does that? He did. Somebody shout, he did. Two months after that, I'm in a, a worship Wednesday at our church, and the Holy Spirit came over me again and said, come to the altar, surrender, repent, and your back will be healed. And I've been in zero pain. say that the healings won't just heal us. It'll heal your entire family. And that's true. I mean, she had to take care of me in some days. Some days I wasn't out of bed for three or four or five days. I would be aggravated with the children for no reason. I would snap at my children, snap at my wife, every, just because you're in so much pain. And, and everything has changed in our entire household now. And, and, and being in the word every single day, for, for a miracle to happen and that change in your life, there's no other way. You cannot turn back. You cannot look any other way. It's it's straight. Avante, avante, avante. So it's changed the family. Your son's right back here, and your whole, whole family stand up just with Sean. Whole family. Amazing, amazing, amazing. He's a leader. He's a leader. He's being raised up to be a leader. Wow. I'm going to I want to hurry here. One more, maybe two more testimonies quick. Ma'am, you have a testimony? Hurry up. Yes, ma'am. You got a mic over here? Who's over here? So, I was in my bedroom 4 years ago and Jesus saved my life. And what I didn't know was my husband um, had been praying for me and I was never the same. Then, because I was set free from a lot of sexual sin, like a lot of like perversion loss, a lot of sexual sin. And then I was on fire and evangelizing, but I was tormented by uh, uh, fear of death. I was, I was hearing thoughts that I was gonna die and specifically too related to my sin that I did. It was specific thoughts. To the, to the sexual sin. Yeah. So then a year ago now. It's the only sin in the Bible that reason it's the hardest sometimes to get free from it's the only sin mentioned where you actually sin against your own body it's the only sin mentioned in that category out of every other sin so it's really really important that if, if that if that's an issue with you tonight man there's grace for you you don't have you don't even have to tell me that's what it is just say hey i i need some help but there is a way out of that there's a way through it there's a way out of it that you can be broken free from that and get rid of the, the remorse and the regret, get rid of that unclean feeling and join the forces of the righteous. Come on, all the way. Come on, say all the way. Come on, say I'm all in, all in. for going all the way. Powerful. Thank you for sharing that. Part of it. And then, so um, I was contending to be free from it because I was getting tormented. Uh -huh. And I saw your healing school last year, a year from now. And I was, I said, I don't even know who Billy Burke is. I don't even know your, don't I didn't know. Don't say that so loud. Don't say that. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is I was, the, <laughs> the Lord led me. He says, go to this healing school. And I said, I went with an expectant heart. I said, I am going to receive freedom. I am not leaving this hotel until I'm free. So my husband, I said, I'm going to this place. And he says, okay. I booked hotel room for the whole time. I didn't care how much money it was. And uh, wow. when I went up for prayer, I said, I'm getting free. I, I'm not leaving here without being free. Jesus, you're going to set me free. And you gave me a powerful word. Do you mind if I read it? No, go ahead. It says, by the, he's, the Lord spoke through Billy Burke. And it says, by the Holy Ghost, I'm going to touch you. And the power is going to go through you. It's going to break the stronghold. For seven days, you have a seven-day window to get your heart right, to get your attitude right on who's really in charge of your life. 
When God's really in charge of your life, you tell those voices to hit the road. When those voices come after you, you say, I'm going to put the blood on you. I'm going to take communion right in front of you. The greater one will always win. You will have a seven-day reprieve to get your soul back. These will be the most radical days of your life. She's going to make it. All it takes is seven seconds to get an attitude after that. And then the seven days after that was the most radical time Somebody. of my life. Somebody. <laughs> attention to the diversity the back healing couldn't walk blind man couldn't see here we have this issue seven day window change some things believe this seven day window why does God give you a time frame it's easier to release your faith in a time frame when I touch the hem by this time tomorrow it gives you, a, it gives you a, a point of contact for your faith. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to do is to set your own point of contact next to how much money to give in the offering. Both of those seem to be very difficult. That's amazing. It's changed your life. Where do you live? Um, in Bradenton. I go to the Christian retreat. You go to a great church. He's a great friend of mine. Yeah. Day five, I fasted for seven days. Day five, I walked into the gas station, in this tiny gas station. My husband and I went to go pick up jet skis. And we, I said, I need some water. I stopped at the gas station, and the glory of the Lord fell in the entire gas station. At the ATM, a lady saw my Jesus earrings, and, and I said, how are you? And, she said, and I said, bless, and I testified. And she said that when she died in an accident seven years ago, I just thought of that, seven years ago, she said she died and her baby died and Jesus brought her and her baby back to life. And when we testified of his glory in the gas station, the whole gas station, the glory fell in the whole gas station, the whole glass. We were all saying hallelujah, hallelujah. And I'll never forget, I'll never forget that day. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, there's just something about Come on, he's my master. Master. Savior. Savior. Pastor, we have a testimony just in place in service right here. What's that? I want to give a testimony of a miracle that happened just now. You were, I brought my grandson. You've prayed for him before. You prayed for him last March, and he got a miracle healing. Then the enemy attacked again this summer, and he was now with excess fluid on his brain, and he can't see past this, couldn't see couldn't past see. this. And they did lumbar punctures and things like that. So I did your online streaming for the past few days for the healing school, 
I had Ryan sitting with me that we watched it. And then I said, we're going tonight and you're receiving your healing, Ryan, period. <laughs> and so he just, he just left the room because he said, Grandma, my I, Wait is. a minute, wait a minute. I, if you're sitting in your seat after this story, I don't, oh, I don't know what's coming. I haven't heard this. So when, when he left, and I, and I sat there because he said his, the noise, he, he had a headache from hell, but literally. And I sat there and I said, Father, we came for a healing, and I believe he is healed. And you can heal him out in that hole if he needs it. And all of a sudden, my daughter-in-law came back and she said, Ryan sent me in to tell you he could see. <laughs> met my grandmother, but that lady reminds me of my grandmother right there. <laughs> Every yeah. time we've come here, I've thought of you and grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and so your sight changed. Yeah. What do you think of this? I'm just really tired, honestly. I just want to go to sleep, honestly. <laughs> but you got your sight. Mm -hmm. It's not like perfect, but it's definitely better, and I'm like, it's gonna get perfect. You couldn't see beyond what? Like. And now you can see beyond that. Yeah. I said, Ryan, you can see? And I was walking, he goes, back up, back up. Yeah, I, I said, well, how many fingers am I holding up? And he couldn't see past that. How many can you how see? One, two, three, four, none. For him. Yeah. You had prayed for him, yeah. Billy. And 14 months ago, you wow. gave me a word. Because we've been gone for five years with yeah. all kinds of demonic attacks, yeah. manifestation of the devil, visitation yeah, from you're Jesus. You're talking a little too much. A little too much. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind if you talk a little bit. Don't talk a lot. We don't have time for people to talk a lot. supposed to talk under the power you're not supposed to <laughs> to God be the glory that's good let's sing it guys turn your eyes on Jesus come on let's sing it turn your eyes on Jesus there's a call right there a big shout. Come on, can you do that? What, what I need to do, what I want to do right now, just don't sit, just stay for a second. I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me. We, we need to receive an offering for this service. What I need you to do is not feel pressure in any way. We need to expand this. We've already put another service for Good Friday. We weren't thinking of that. We're going to lock in on Good Friday communion right here. If you're free, if you're not busy at your church, join us on Good Friday, 7 o'clock right here. But as this needs expanding, it's growing. 
Nothing you give tonight goes to me personally. Nothing, not a dime of it. It comes in and it goes to everything we do to help get you here. But I'm asking everyone to do something. No certain amount. Be free. If you don't want to give anything, don't. But I, I, I need some help from, from somebody, from a few of you. How many few can I have? Let me see. Can I have a few of you tonight? Put your hands up. I'm going to pray. I want to do this quickly because we probably have about another hour and a half left. It's going quickly. And there's many, many more miracles to happen here. But there's already been enough miracles to convince you that he is the guy, Jesus, that you want to team up with. Come on, say out loud, I need him in my life. I need him to take over my life. He's a way better manager than me. He's a way better governor and president and leader than I could ever hope for. Holy Spirit, I give away this seed tonight to support this ministry. This is very good ground. I know beyond a shadow of a doubt it's coming back to me bigger and better, greater and larger than I could ever dream of. This is going to send me into another level of increase, of Bible prosperity. I thank God the, cu the curse that's been on my money is going to get broken this service in Jesus' name. Come on, give him a big, big shout. Now, those of you that are giving online, where's my camera at? Those of you that are giving online, you'll, hear, you'll see the description right on the screen there, how you're to give. We thank you for giving as well. Wish you could be with us tonight. As you can tell, this atmosphere is really, really charged with the faith and with the presence of the Holy Spirit. Maybe next time you can be here. But go ahead and follow through with the information on the screen. And thanks a million for all that you're doing here tonight. Make your checks payable to the World Outreach if you, if you have an envelope there. If you give them by credit card, just put the card number down and the expiration. If you put a card down to no amount, then you're just trusting me to put the numbers in. And I just like zeros. I just love zeros. <laughs> so make sure, make, make sure you fill in that number. Your email address, if I could have that as well. Keep you informed about our next school. Some of the services we have coming up here in Orlando as well. So we really want to be able to have you be a part of this. God is doing something so real, so fresh. These miracles are amazing. They really, really are. You, you waiting in line for a prayer lady? She is? You brought her, Katie? Bring her to me. How you doing, sweetheart? How do you like this service? It's new. You've not been in one of these. Oh, my. Where are you from? Down the street. <laughs> so what do you think of what you're seeing? Right. So what do you need tonight? Um, sorry. Um, I've got a bad disc that's causing a lot of pain. In your back? And everything, yeah. And it yeah. hurts all the time? Yeah. And I'm just, you know, just not faith. Is, there, is your back hurting now? Yeah. Hurts you're sure? Yeah. Check it. <laughs> Let's check it. What? Yeah, it's still hurting. Sorry. Just move around a little bit. <laughs> Power's coming on you. It's just power. That's just power. That's just power. That's okay. It's just power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's moving in your body. Come on, everybody, hallelujah. Ah. 
Move around for me. Move around for me. It's better. I'm going to check in on you for the rest of the service, but I want you to just move him a little bit. I want you to get over the shock of you standing here. <laughs> Come on. Give her a big God bless you. Come on. Come on. We will check in so you can see what the Lord's about to do. We will check in. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. Come on, hallelujah. 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 I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Who is this man here? Okay, we're going to get it. Okay, it's going to go. It's gone. Come here. I'm going to ask my worship team first because she's missing a lump and we can't find it. Did you see? Did you see a lump rolling around up here? Bruce, did you see a lump over there by the keyboard? Look around your chair. See if you see a lump rolling around. Her lump left her breast. You what? You didn't know it was gone. No, and then Yvette said, uh, Ma, you know that lump in your breast? I said, yeah. She said, feel it. Yvette, you said that. Yeah. These no. two are so precious, Bob, Joan, and Yvette. They're just precious friends from years. They've worked in so many different crusade ministries. They have the place called God's Little Acres. Where's that? In Miami? No, Fort Lauderdale. Fort Lauderdale. And just give us a sentence or two of what that, what that does. Well, we've been there for how many years, hon? Come here, come here, Bob. Just say a word about this. 25 years. 25 years. God gave you this vision. God's Little Acres. Give, give her the vision. Gave her the vision. I come home from work one day, and we lived on the water. We had a nice big boat, and I come home, and she says, "Hun, God spoke to me." So I says, "Oh, what are you saying?" She says, "Sell it all, and I'll go take care of my I'll go take care of my sick kids, and I'll bless you." And I says, "What?" She says, "Sell it all, and I'll go take care of my take care of my sick kids, and I'll bless you." So we sold it all. We bought this rundown ranch, in, uh, it's five and a half acres. We've had over 17,000 kids out, all free of charge. So many healings out there. She's been touched many times. God touched her. And it's just been a wonderful, wonderful time. And we just, she listened to God. It was her, not me. <laughs> I just sold everything. <laughs> healed her cancer, healed them. Use your, use your strength while you have strength. Have a vision here tonight. Right now, she had an operation, and she had a bunch of her intestines removed, and uh, she was very, very sick. We brought her up to Billy's, and uh, the last time we were here, God touched her. Uh, she was having pains in her stomach after the operation. She was under the, uh, the anesthesia for eight hours, and she kind of lost her memory and stuff like that, and she's still not right, but... I know God's going to touch her. She's always been a little deaf, but that's okay. <laughs> you, better, right? you, better, you better not let him testify no more. <laughs> we love you. When uh, Billy prayed over, she had pains in her stomach. They wouldn't go. The doctor wanted to go back in and take adhesions out. And uh, Billy prayed over, and God spoke to him, and he said, no more adhesions, no more operations. And she had the pain left and totally gone. Come on, wow. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody.
somebody. Give it. She's just sitting there. I never even prayed for her. That's why I'm talking to all of you. Check. Whatever you have to do, check in your seat, go to the restroom, run around the Hilton Hotel. <laughs> well, maybe not run around the Hilton Hotel, but check. Move your back. I'm coming back over to that girl. Don't let me forget, Katie. That's your friend, right? Yeah. I'm absorbing it. I, I don't want the time to go. I want every one of you to get touched, and, I, and some of you I can see are still like, how do I get this? How do I do this? What did I tell you in the beginning? Just get in it. Quit trying to overthink it. You can't think your way into this. You can just get in it. We're about to have a healing time right now, but I want you to just get in it. I know you have that envelope. We're getting that envelope. I know. How many want to give? How many? I don't normally do this, but since you're complaining about the offering, I don't want anybody complaining. He didn't even take an offering. He, he threatened us with an offering, then he never took it. Just a great group of people, I'll tell you what. Wow, wow, wow. Come over here, come over here, come over here, come over here. Money will never be a problem for you and Maurice. Never. You're going to be able to live anywhere you want. Anywhere you want. Where you are is out of necessity. But God's about to take the restrictions off. He's about to expand you in ways you never thought of. Not just places to minister, financially. Financially. Your future is covered, girl. Your future is covered. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. Thank you. My God, I'm, I'm not supposed to do this. <laughs> Thank you. David, I want David's. I want to put David's in my... I just feel an increase all over this place. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel increase. I'll tell you, if I was you, I would just run up here. <laughs> Help me here. Come on, bring your offering up. Get up here.
everybody oh. Somebody's wearing a brace, a, a wrap around your torso. Some kind of wrap around your torso. It's under your clothes. You're here tonight. Where, where, where? 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 You gotta yell at me. Where? Who's wearing the brace? This gentleman, come to me, bring him to me. Look at that brace. Oh my God, what's the matter, sir? What happened here? But what's this, what's this all this for? My back. In your neck? Everywhere. <laughs> Is it hurt? Are yes. you hurting now? Yes. You're hurting right now. My back, my knee, my Come shoulder. and show the people this brace. Come. Come on, I want you to see this brace over here. How, how long have you had that? Three years. And, and how did you know about this meeting? A friend of mine at church invited me here. What's that friend's name? Ross. Ross. Who? Uh-huh. So you're in pain with that, right? Yes, sir. All Every the day. time? Oh. Every is, day. Is it hurting now? Is it hurting now? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes. Well, check it. Mm -hmm. Check it. I have two rocks on my back. Check it. <laughs> Sounds like pop on my back. What? Pop. I hear a pop in my back. What's the matter with Thank this crowd? Jesus, oh my God! Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, I feel better. I confess it. Is what? I confess I feel better. take that off of just for 10 minutes or so and just see how do you do that that's all over you yeah yeah just walk over here with me let's just walk a little bit for your name is great and greatly to be praised I give glory I to give your name to just walk over there to John Back over here. No pain. No pain. No pain. No pain. <laughs> For your name is great 
and great leads to be praised. Oh, your name. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Take your legs up. Take your legs up. March over. Just march over. Come on, just march to me. Just march. Move a little faster. Move a little faster. <clears throat> All my life, he's been faithful. All my life. Look at this. Come on, somebody. All my life. All my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, oh, I will sing. Of the goodness. Of the goodness. his back pop. I wonder why it didn't pop when the anointing wasn't there. When the anointing, when you're in it, when anything goes, he's leaving without that horse harness, whatever, harness, whatever that is. That's big enough to strap a horse down. How long have you been wearing that? How long have you been wearing that? For two years. Oh. You don't need it anymore. I praise the Lord for that. <laughs> It'll perfect the healing of, if you trust, if you believe it in the hallway and in the car and the whole way home, it will perfect itself. If you doubt it, you could be back in the harness. You know, I mean, it's, if you look at the wave, you sink. If you look at Jesus, you stand. It's that simple. Don't overthink it. Get away from people that want to remind you of the way you used to be. I'm sorry you can't see the new me. I've got to get around people that see the new me. Come on, I got to get around those people. Incredible. Now, you understand something. I don't know you never met you. I didn't know you were here. I hear Holy Spirit tell me about the brace. So that tells me he knows you're here. And he knows you. This is more powerful than what it looks like. I feel better. Huh? I feel better. It's going to get even better than better. But the point of it is, when a word is called out, I mean, you should never question God's love for you again. Come on, say he loves me. He loves me. He loves me. I'm accepted. Get out of my way. God's got something for me to do. I'm, I'm going to retire my lazy chair. Mm, amazing. Carissa, what do we have right here? What's this? What's this, David? You have a back brace. You took it off. How long have you had it on? Since December. So what's going on with, how's it feel? I'm shaking. <laughs> that means? That means it's falling off, whatever it is. Wow. 
you know, we sang the hallelujah chorus a little earlier. I'm going to sing it again. Hallelujah. I want you to worship with it. I don't want you to just sing a song. I want you to really worship with it. He's here, and I don't want you to miss him. <clears throat> and the moment you feel it in your seat, you don't need me to call it out. Get out of that chair. Let one of the ushers know. We'll get to you. I don't know what time of the night we'll get to you, but we will get to you. I'm not being facetious. We're not going to be here much longer. Hallelujah. Go ahead. I was here a few years ago. I had a cancer diagnosis, and you prayed for me. I shook for four days. I went back to the doctor. There was no cancer. So then... That's, that's not the good part. The good part is, fast forward to COVID-20. I went to the doctor, they ran an abdominal scan. I went in, they read the scan and they said, oh, your kidneys are good, your liver is good, blah, 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 blah. And he said, and you have an unremarkable spleen. I said, I don't have a spleen. I had my spleen removed when I was 38 years old. I said, I've got an 18 inch scar to prove it. This is too much for some of you. I, I can tell it. We, we got some people who are gonna gag your gag reflexes. This is too much. This is too many miracles in one night. She didn't just get a healing. She grew an organ. Preaching. I don't mind praying. I don't want to be the cheering section, too. I need a cheering section. Come on. <laughs> and I need you to know who's doing it. Who's doing it? Who's doing it? By way of. Holy Spirit, this should bring you closer. You should say, I'm going home reading my Bible tonight. I'm going to pray for some people. I can't wait to get in another meeting. I'm never going to criticize Billy Burke ever again the rest of my life. I've learned from so many people that have blazed a trail ahead of me. I'm the least of all of them. He's using me, but I'm the least. I'm not half of what most of those people that you know are, who they are, what they've done. I'm just kind of sneaking in on this before he comes. I'm trying to get a lot of points at the end. Come on, somebody. I've got a lot of stuff to make up for. I had been a bad boy for a lot of years. But he found me, and he saved me, cleansed me. And yeah, he's using me. And after this service, I'm going to feel really, really used. It'll take me three days to recover from all of this. Get ready, there's going to be an open door coming your way, an open door to do what you've always wanted to do but never had the opportunity to do. God's about to knock the hinges off those doors. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Katie, come on, Katie. She's Krista. here for prayer for Hashimoto's. Hashimoto's. Is this your diagnosis? How's this affecting you? I have digestive issues because of it. I have low iron and low B vitamins and um, really low energy. It's hard to exercise well and um, yeah, the biggest thing is the energy and the digestion. Put it your hands just affects up. everything. Hashimoto's is a horrible. You okay, ma'am? You okay? She lost her shoes. She okay, John? Can you okay? She okay? Walk with her, John. Hands up. Hashimoto's. Oh, Jesus, we thank you for this. Thank you for this.
let it be let it be removed from her bloodstream. Let to be a cleansing stream through her bloodstream. Let weakness be converted to strength. This be the night that God touches Katie. She's a wife, she's a mother, she's a super lady for the kingdom. He said he will heal you but not not without purpose but with purpose. Be ready to be redirected. Get ready for redirection. Tell Nick, tell your family, we're being redirected. God's about to really put a fresh anointing on you. A fresh anointing. The heavens are about to open. You're going to hear them. You're going to feel them. This is more than a healing of Hashimoto. This is the visitation for direction for your life. Where you've been, you've needed to be. It was a necessary place. But now that God is telling you, break camp. It's time to do what I've called you to do. This might be Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody better give God a shout. Come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Your mother? Get a, get a mic. Where are you from? Originally, New York. New York, yes, okay. Yeah. But she had a rotator cuff surgery many years ago, and she okay. has a lot of pain, arthritis, and then she had a mesh put in her on her bladder. She has what down here? Mesh, mask? mesh. A mesh. And she's had urinary tract. Can she speak? Or? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Go ahead. You speak yeah. Italian? What are you? Italian. Oh, in Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Go ahead. I've been out there uh, in that gen all the time because I give it a mesh. Uh huh. Yeah. Can you raise your arm? Um, I could raise it, but this one I got it. Uh, Just raise it. Don't talk about it. Just raise it. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three, clap your hands up. Does that hurt? No, oh, it's yes. It hurts? Yeah, when I turn around. Oh, no. Three, three, cuatro, ching way. Ching way. Come on, say five times. Five times the blessing is coming to me. Uno, two, three, cuatro, ching way. Uno, two, three, cuatro, ching way. The word is ching way. David had five stones. The number of grace is five. Five-fold ministry. I mean, the five-fold power is hitting you tonight, lady. Every office that there is. Come on, somebody give God a big shout, that power of the Holy Ghost. Somebody give him. Walk, just walk. Just walk. No more. No must. <laughs> oh, don't hug me. Walk. I love this. I love this. Don't you love this? Ching Wei. Ching Wei. How do you feel? Much better. You feel better. Much better. Yes. Come on, Thanks. just. <laughs> Ching Wei. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Receive. <laughs> Too much thought. You're going to live. You have many years left. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Don't entertain death. Quit entertaining death. It's not your time. Come on, say, I cancel all death thoughts. <laughs> say it. I cancel, I cancel. all death thoughts. All death. Come here, come here. You remind her of this. You remind her of this, Let You remind her of this. Come on, guy. Give me this guy. Who's here? Come on. What is this? What's going on? I've dealt with epilepsy most of my life. Okay. 
and back in July I had a big seizure that but since then I haven't had any so okay and it's been bugging me most of my life it's, it's just been a real burden so why would you come tonight you haven't had any why are you here because I want complete deliverance from this. you need Jesus to do this yes put your hands up come on say Jesus, Jesus. I need you I need you Lord come inside of me come inside of me Lord. release me from my former self, my former self. from all those, sins. all those sins I break that power <laughs> by that Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. set me free set that me free. power come on somebody give God a shout come on what did he say anybody that tries to come up over the sheepfold and do it another way and doesn't go through the gate is a thief. You're trying to come in the back door and get healed the wrong way. Come on, say, he is the healer. He is my door. And I got to go through him. What do we have here, Krista? Pastor, this is Reuben. He wants prayer. He has stinging. He wants new veins. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah. They play basketball. How about the fruit? They talk about arthritis. Okay. But but sorry, that's all. This you got to receive. Time to receive. This part right here. Time to receive. We magnify the healer. We don't magnify the condition. We magnify the healer. Our focus is on Him. Jesus said, "Look unto me." We see that, but yet we don't consider that. Put your hands up. Come on, high in the air. Come on, say, Master. I have one master. His name is Jesus. I'm coming to him tonight to touch my body and heal me and live in me and be my Lord. To deliver me from all the wrong voices that they may never speak to me again. That power. That guy now in my ankle, you see it over here. Hey, 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 how's it feel? Um, you're bouncing around. No, there, no, no, I, 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 I could walk over there. It's just the stain, it did damage. Try I to walk to... over there. Walk, no, you didn't no, walk no, too that. far. Okay. Walk, sir. Walk, walk. You talk too much. Just walk. Walk, but walk, walk. It'll stay. It'll stay. No, it'll stay. Okay. Is it that? Yeah, I'm getting awesome, but I want that all now. What a strong, what a strong prayer. Okay, I don't. That's all I have. <laughs> it's been working all night. It's not going to stop now. Help this man. Help him. Help him. God bless him. Help him. Help him. Help him. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. I'll get to him. I'll get to you. Help him. Jesus, oh Jesus, come and heal. Jesus, Heather. She has a, What's going on? She has a tumor in her uterus. A tumor on the uterus. How long has it been there? A couple of years. Uh-huh. I have surgery scheduled on March 4th. Isn't that Is it malignant? They tried to do a biopsy Thursday, but they couldn't get in there. They couldn't get what? They couldn't get in there to get the biopsy. Uh Uh-huh. So I don't know. That's exactly what happens when you come up here and you're not focused. You're all over the place. What do do you need? Bartimaeus said, I need my blind eyes healed. You can't get into a position, I need this and I need that and, and look down here. Your faith is broken. So you gotta learn to focus what you're after. Make sure you go after that. Come on, say amen. We'll help you. We'll help sharpen, prepare your faith for another time. But get focused on what you want. Is 
there pain there for that? Can you feel it now? Yeah. Do you feel the pain? You don't feel the pain. No. You don't feel the pain. Not now. The pain left. <laughs> Come on, somebody. No surgery for you. No surgery for you. Come on, give God a shout. She's talking away, and the, and the Holy Spirit's healing her. It's pretty incredible. It really is. There's peace and truth. veteran. Give him a God bless you. Come on, give him a God bless you. What happened? What's going on here? I have rectal cancer. My head is fast growing. The doctors want to put a port in my ear and kill it. I want God to kill it. I want God to take care of this cancer. I don't want it. Where are you from? D. Ritter, Louisiana. I'm the Cajun a while ago. You're the Cajun. I'm the one. And I know God can heal it. He brought me back from Vietnam. Are you here by yourself? I'm here by myself. You drove in, flew in? I flew in from D. Ritter. Flew to Lake Charles, flew to Houston, and flew into Tampa today. I haven't had a lot of sleep, and I don't care. You what? I haven't had a lot of sleep, and I don't care. And you don't care. I don't care. I want to be healed. I don't want to go back to the doctor. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. This meeting is winding down. I don't know how much longer. Stay awake. Don't complain. You may be the next one getting healed. This is amazing tonight. When's your next checkup? I got to go into oncology probably in three weeks to a month. And when oncology will do this. Here's what I want you to do. Okay. okay? Here's what I'm hearing. Yes, sir. Don't wait for your appointment. I'm going to touch you. Power's going to go through you tonight. Then I want you to hear the Holy Ghost. You call that oncologist. You say, I can't make it on your day. That any day between now and then. Get an abbreviation. You need to know sooner, not later, that God has touched you. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Somebody give God a shout. Come on, give him a mighty shout. Carissa. Pastor, this is Shirley. She has uh, hearing loss in both ears. She's taken her hearing aids out because she's expecting that she's okay. going to be healed. So how long have you had the hearing aids? Uh, about six years. Uh -huh. And I took them out when I got here. What did you I pay for them? How much money did you spend on them? Oh, about $5,000. For, for both of them? Yes. That's a package them. deal. Yes. Yeah. But I want to give them to somebody else. You want to give them, them to somebody else. Because I don't want them anymore. And I don't need them anymore. You don't need I know God's going to Put them on eBay. Put them on eBay. I was going to give it to somebody that really needed it, you know. I go 
go to Miracle Ear and that lady. You what? I go to Miracle Ear and the lady there, I thought I'd give them to her and she would know exactly who to give it to, someone who can't afford it. So how long have you had these in your ear? Six years. Six years, you told me that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just here to receive my complete healing. Do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? Oh, I love him with my whole heart. He has healed me. What's your favorite holiday? What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, I love this. You like the wrap presents? Uh, not wrapping presents, no. <laughs> what's your favorite? Well, what's your favorite holiday? Churches. What's your favorite holiday dessert? My favorite holiday. Dessert. I didn't hear you. Okay. My what? favorite holiday. Holiday dessert. Oh, dessert. Oh, tiramisu. <laughs> I love it. She's hearing pretty good. <laughs> See, God will heal you when you're just headed in the right direction. Just moving in the right direction is monumental. Getting back to church or moving towards some kind of a mission project. Giving, sowing your seed like you did tonight. Moving in the right direction. Being nicer to the people you live with. Leaving a tip more than a penny for the waitress. Don't tell her about Jesus and leave nothing. Are you a waitress? <laughs> I thought for sure we had a waitress over there. <laughs> I'm gonna touch my I'm gonna touch your ears. Yeah, one more thing. I have a broken heart. <laughs> Because my husband died last year. He died last year? Yeah. And I'm just having, you know, I'm just trying to heal from that. And I like a touch of God. So, okay. We've yeah. been married 34 years. You miss him. What was his name? Donald. Donald? Donald. Donald. Mm -hmm. The scope of what these meetings are. When you come here and sing and when you give your offering and we see people getting physically healed, the deeper healing you can't see. The Bible says the physical affirmity of a man, he will bear it. But a wounded spirit, nobody can bear it. Because it don't show up on an x-ray. It doesn't show up in a blood test. And the doctors don't know what to do with it. So they medicate, medicate, medicate. People live forever with torment of what happened to them. We were, whether they were a part of it or not, it's still there. That's why Jesus said, I've come to what, heal, heal those that were bruised. I've come set captives free. I've come to heal those people whose hearts were broken. He knew. What did he know? That your inside is connected to your outside. So I'm put your hands, everybody in this room, put your hands right on your belly area, your abdomen area. I'm going to touch these ears. They're going to come open. And then God's going to begin to heal her fractured soul. Mm. And I believe he's going to touch many of you tonight that have been wounded from relationships, from life. You're going to wake up tomorrow thinking, man, I just don't, I don't think I have that excess baggage. Some of you are going to be getting healed right in this audience as I touch this precious lady. Where are you from, uh, Louisiana? Where are you from? I'm from uh, Ocala. Here Ocala. In Florida, yeah. I've lived here for four years, my husband and I. You love them. You love them so much. Donald. Donald, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's That's get these ears open first. Then we'll deal with Donald. You okay with that? And Holy Spirit, we thank you. We praise you. Oh, we thank you. We praise you. This is nerve deafness. That's, it's no, there's no spirit here. This is nerve deafness. He's healing your nerves. You'll hear better tonight and better tomorrow as these nerves begin to heal. It's just going to be amazing for you. You hear me? She can hear me. With my fingers in her ears, she's able to hear me. Wait till I take her fingers out. Be loose! <laughs> Wow. Wow. Spirit of the living God. Bring her up. Fall 
full afresh. Wow. Did you feel that open? Yes, I did. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I can hear you. I can hear them over there. Just talk to me. That's what I was waiting for. I was sitting there. And I couldn't hear. You say it again. I said I was sitting in my chair, and I couldn't really hear what you guys were saying. But I didn't want to put the hearing aids back in because I was just waiting. He might have healed me in my seat, and wherever he healed me, I didn't care. <laughs> wherever he did, and I was waiting for them to pop open, and that's what you did. You I wish we had more time to celebrate in between. You know, we, we see these miracles, we worship them, it's on to the next person. And I, I know it looks a little insensitive, but we're trying to get as many people in as we can. My heart, I want to just continue to sing over one person. That's why in your seat, I need you to pull on this. I don't think I'm the healer. You, you can't leave your seat. I know I'm not. I wish I could get to every single one of you. And I know I'm going to close this meeting, and he's going to have to get to you. Or you're going to have to journey back. If you think Disney World's a big kingdom... And you can't conquer Disney World in one day. <laughs> Honey, we got to come back here because there's too many things to see. If you think that kingdom is too big, you have no idea what kingdom you're in right now. <laughs> it's going to be a kingdom out of all of eternity that never exhausts itself. Right. Not 12 kinds of fruit at the river, 12 different kinds every month. Twelve kinds that have never been eaten before every month. Come on, say twelve different kinds. Every month. At the fruit. Along that river of life. Well, what's this? What's this? Amazing where we're headed. Put your hands up for Donald. Come on. Come on, say Donald. I release you tonight. Come on, I... I know you're with Jesus. Yes, I know you, Sister. I know it. I know you're saving a place for me. And you're saving a place for me. I'll be coming soon. I'll be coming soon. Mm. Not too soon. I know. You don't love Donald that much. Come on, somebody. <laughs> oh, Maurice, did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> I know God has work for me. Yeah, he's got work do. for you to do. That's a quick recovery right there. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to stick around for a little while. Now. Let's get back to the prayer. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I release you, my dear husband. I release you, my dear husband. And I will see you in the right time. <laughs> I know you're safe. I know you're safe. I know you're safe. That makes me feel good. To know that you're safe. 
Tell me about it. I sat here during the day after he died, mm -hmm. and he showed me that he was in heaven with him, and I got to talk to him, and he went over and he started trying to save somebody. He was trying to talk to people because they were complaining, and he says, you, you shouldn't be complaining. You need Jesus. Yeah. You need Jesus, and you won't Listen complain me, anymore. I'm glad you came tonight. I can't I'm think. Glad I no, I'm so glad you came. I'm glad he touched you and got those ears open. He is. He is. I love him. I know. Come on, give God a shout. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Oh, wow. Uh, to God. May the glory for the things he has done. Come on, with his blood. With his blood. He, he, he has saved me. I'm here because I have cancer. You're fighting cancer? Yes. What kind of cancer? Stage three metastatic melanoma. Melanoma, skin no. cancer. Um, well, they don't know where it started. They've never. They found never it. do. They hardly ever no. do. But it's inside. But this is my second time around, and we. I had a surgery canceled also because my husband prayed for three nights before the surgery. So we walked into the hospital. I got all hooked up with IVs. An hour later, we were walking out. Because. Because God healed me, and because they had put a marker in to guide them to where the spot was. The tech couldn't find the marker. The radiologist couldn't find the marker. So the radiologist called my doctor who was up in surgery and said, It's never over till he says it's over. Come on. Woo! Say it's never over. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the of death, I will for thou. You go through it sometimes. Sometimes we all walk through. The shadow of death, different than death, means you're close to death. He's saying I walk through very close places to death. It's the shadow of death, not death. Man, I've had some close calls, David is saying. How many have had a lot of close calls? You came through it. You're here. Come on, say, I'm not going nowhere till my story is finished. That's the scriptures teach. Start believing that. Start believing that. How you, where are you guys from here? Right here, you guys. Come over here, quickly. Come. You together or what? You're, all three of you? Four of you? What? Right here. What brings you here tonight? For what? 1.5 uh, diabetes. Diabetes? I'm type, fighting. Type 1. Type 1. So you take a needle every day? What? I stopped. I said I don't want to do it no more. You don't take the needle. You're no, supposed to, though. I'm supposed to, but I refuse. And uh, they put me in metformin, and I stopped it as well. Why did you just stop? For what reason? Because I, I believe Jesus is going to heal me. Okay. This is your wife? Yes. What do you think about his action, his type of faith? It I concerns you? No. No? No, he's, he's strong. He's strong. He's a, he believes. He doesn't want to lose you and he doesn't want to leave you. Is that right? Is that my telling you the truth? That's the truth. He did this for you. For you, Mama. For you. <laughs> this is the dog. Who's this? The dog. That's my son. That's the son. Get over your son. Stand here. I want you to catch some of this. Something you're going to catch here tonight. You're not distanced from this. You're connected to this. <laughs> they just got rescued. 
they just got rescued. You can sit there and go, I don't know, but that's why you're not praying for them. You got to get that mixture out of you. Why well, love Jesus? It's not about love. This is about faith. This is about believing against the odds. It's about daring to stand what he suffered for. He didn't die for nothing. He didn't suffer for nothing. He died for the sins, but suffered for your healing. Come on, say, died for my sins. Suffered for my healing. I don't like to suffer. I don't know about you. I don't like to suffer. I don't like to stub my toe. And to think that he, he suffered for everything that we have wrong. You have a kid to test your sugar with? What was your numbers when you came in here tonight? Three something. Huh? Three hundred and something. I think like three forty something. Three forty something. Put your hands up. Come on, young girl. Come get up here. Put your hands up. Wow. I tell you, this little girl's got faith too. You got faith? There's a miracle coming to this family. It's gonna turn everybody around. God has plucked you out of the obscurity tonight to do a mighty work. And you will say, yes, Lord. Say it again. Say it again. I'm talking to him. Power of the Holy Ghost. That might be power of the Holy Ghost. I want him, David, when they come up, I want, I want him to get his kit wherever he has to get it. I want him to test outside. I want a test. I want a sugar test right here. The devil's a liar. The devil's a liar. Come on, the devil's a liar. Come on, I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord. Come on, everybody. I need you, Lord, right now. Oh, come on, I need you. I lift my hands, bow my knees, and worship at your throne. I need you, Lord. I need you, Lord, right now. Trusting here. Trusting. Me standing here a long time doesn't do anything. It's already been done. Now you trust it. Don't, if you don't trust your prayers, why pray? Huh? You don't pray and say, I hope so. I pray and I know so. I can't necessarily time it, but I know so. 
Come on, shout it, I pray. And then I know so. I trust it. it left so I was laying over here I don't have to pay no more I want you to check your sugar where's your kid at go get him go get him somebody go with him David we're not going to keep you here much longer go ahead guys where are you from hello again Billy hey this is my third time you oh. told me to keep coming until it's over all right with this like emphysema that. problem that I have emphysema how long you had this? Nine years. Any better? It's getting better, but right. I'm, I'm hoping that you're going to make it even better. All right. We're looking to him, our mighty Jesus, right? When I got a fracture on my forearm uh -huh. and my hand, and I want it completely restored so I can move it and use it. I stand Hallelujah. in awe Come on, sing this like there's no tomorrow. Come on. I stand, I stand in love you. Come on, I stand. I stand, I stand in love you. Holy God. Holy God to all praise. Interpret for them, or what, you speak English? Yeah, okay. okay. She's asking for deliverance for her shoulder. You want deliverance? Uh, what kind of deliverance are we talking about? For changing. What's that now? And then he changes, and we all change. You know, it's like uh, he needs changing because he has a lot of like addictions and stuff, and. Is he addicted we, now, like addictions yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. What, to drugs or? Um, alcohol, no. maybe drugs. I don't, I don't know. It, I, <laughs> it, it's up to him if he wants to tell you. I'm not the You're one. You're the son, right? Yeah, I know, but I can't speak for him. So well, you're doing a pretty good job right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I also want to say for my family, uh, I want to see a miracle happen. Because I've been living for 16 years and I've never seen my dad change. Or we haven't changed as a family, more say. So that's all I just want to ask. And I, I appreciate everybody coming out here. And that's, that's about it. Yeah. 
Did you hear that? Come on, say this. I can't change myself. That's why I needed born again. That's why I need Jesus every day. That's why I need the written word of God. Every day. Come on, say, this book will change me. Dear God, this book. <laughs> Is that your Bible? Give me a Bible. Dear Lord. Come on, say, this book will change me. Red letters, black letters, Old Testament, New Testament, prophets, teachers, Jesus himself, the maps will heal me. It's an anointed book. Mm. Just a verse a day. Just if you read a verse a day. One, one scoop of ice cream every day. Some of you gain weight looking at ice cream. Come on. <laughs> you got to start somewhere. Coming out of a meeting like this, this used to really, this is what fed my fire. I would leave these kind of services and I would disappear. I, could, I just couldn't function except I could read. I just wanted more. I just wanted more. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me to I want no more. You're ready to be free. Ready to be free. Be what? Last time I wanted to say. What do you mean? Yeah, they were in Bradenton last time and um, they asked for basically the same thing and it didn't happen. But it did. Something, but I, I hope it happens no, now. No, listen to me, though. Something here. always happens. Okay. Sometime when you plant that seed of faith, listen to me, it, it, it disappears. It has to go down to the roots. You're harder to work with than what you know. God has to visit you many, many times to get you and I to say yes. Here's a son pushing dad chain. Every father in here, hear this. Hear this. Your children see you. If not for you, for their sake. And you can't change yourself, but your cry can be, Lord, change me. That should be our, and we're going to pray that prayer tonight before we go. Everybody up front, we're going to do that. We're going to do that prayer. We're going to cover your children tonight. This here is very unique. What do you think about your son saying this, though? <clears throat> it's pretty push. Um, I mean, tried to be a good man. You tried to be a good man. I always try. But sometimes it's hard. What you did for your son? See, young people, what young people don't understand is the road of life and what all happens. Sometimes you see through the eyes of a young man and it's like, oh, come on, change. And he still has life to live. He wants that, I get that. But have some compassion on the people that have been through some stuff you haven't been through yet. And they know what's around the bend. They know where the dragons live. They know where the witches are. They know where the hell hoes exist. You know, if you have, if you have a going through outer space and you get too close to any one planet, it'll pull you into itself. But the major task of a space capsule is to stay far enough away from each planet that they don't get sucked into that planet. There's a magnetic force to every planet. And so what you watch and where you visit, where you vacation, 
There's, there's a force there. You may think I'm just going there for three days. That's what, that's what Lot thought. He's just going there for a few seasons. There's a force that gets you to get stuck there. Don't play into the devil's game. He's very good at it. I'm going to go down here and play chuck a luck play the one arm bandit just for a little bit. Well, tell your kids that you lost all their inheritance there. How are you going to tell them? How are you telling them you lost your house money there? Tell your wife, we lost our down payment there. Those people, they wait to take your car. They wait to take your house, your mortgage, your title. They have no heart. And yet we stand in line and go there. We won't give money to God and trust for a Korean crease, but we'll get down there and trust for chance. Come on, put your hands and say, I'm tired of being taken. I'm tired of the devil's games. I'm tired of losing. I'm born to be a winner. Come on, say, I'm wired to win. No more for that stuff. I'm getting delivered tonight. No more chance. I'm going to make a choice. I'm going to trust God. And he will bless me. And bless me with finances. And I'll leave enough money for two generations. Come on, give God a shout. Come on. Go ahead, sir. Yes, sir, I want to say something. Um, when you bore, I mean, when you grandpa bore at the same way, your father yeah. followed the same way. That's your pattern. You followed grandpa and your dad. Followed chain. See, that's... I want to break the chain. Go ahead. Saying I would follow him, but no, I no, wouldn't no, want no, to follow him. No, he's not saying him. that. He's not saying that. Oh, He's okay. saying that he, he, he has what he has because he followed his dad and his grandpa. He doesn't want you to go that way. See? He said he's trying to change, is what he said. I want to break the chain. You what? I want to break the chain. He wants to chain. break the chain. <laughs> come on, come on. Wow. He wants to break the chain. Hey, what's your name, man? What's your name? Joshua. See, the thing is, your dad is here. You don't know what a big deal that is. Yeah. He's here. And what he just said, look at him. You believe him? He has done elder times. I don't huh? know. I don't know. I don't know at this point. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of years, you know, my entire life. So we'll, we'll just see in time, you know. Yeah. Do you want him to change? I want him to do better for himself. Do you want him to change? Yeah, yeah, of course. Do you yeah. want him to change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody wants him to change, you know? Yeah. The pressure. You don't, I don't want you to be under pressure. I want you to do this for the right reasons, okay? You can do this. We could do one of these meetings every month. We could. There's more than enough people. The hurting crowd is everywhere. I'm going to pray. You're going to pray, okay? I want you to look at your son over here and say, I will, I will be, a different man. be a different man. I haven't been faithful. In my decisions, that it hurts me to see how hurt you are. I don't want to hurt my own seed. I'm going to ask God to help me. I will earn your trust. Is that good? All right. Put your hands up. Come on, all over the place. You know, I don't know what kind of service this is tonight. <laughs> I'm thankful for all of our musicians. So thankful. So thankful.
It's what? Did you check? I did. The number I gave you was the wrong number. It was 482, and right now it's 416. So you dropped? Yes. yes. Oh! Yeah. You don't understand how big that is. That's huge. And it's going to continue to drop. They're laughing. They don't even know why. Yeah. Your daddy's numbers dropped. Your husband's numbers dropped. That's it every day. They do this every day? Every day. Every single day. What, a, what? What? Every single day. You what? Every single day. <laughs> when do they do it? In the morning or the night? Or? Whenever they feel like it. <laughs> you, you're having a conversation with them and they, they go into this. I just, you just got to leave them alone. This is the part of the meeting I don't like because I know we're getting ready to land the plane. It's been such a powerful evening. And all I can hope for is that you come out of here and you have a better hunger to be in his presence, to read, to sing. He's touching you, sir. He's touching you right now. Stand in the outline. Put your hands up. Somebody get behind this guy. Power of God's on this man. He's touching you right now. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. He's touching you. It's a healing now. Now. She's happy. Leave her alone. Let's go here. Come on, reach your hands out to this precious man and his family. I pray for this couple, dear Jesus. I pray for this man. I pray the spirit of, the, of deliverance would fall on him tonight. The anointing. I pray a portion of this service goes home with him and his yes. wife. And begin from the inside out to break every fetter, every chain. Yes. He said with his own mouth, I want to break the chains. Let this chain be broken. Come on, give God a shout. I touched him already. I touched him. Amazing. You know what I'd like to do? Let's pick her up and have her sit next to the lady right here. She's, she's okay. Let's pick her up. You're precious, sweetheart. Go right over here. Go right over here. There you go. Go right over there. Yeah. We, like, we like the flow, but we don't like the anointing to be interrupted. We don't like that. I don't like that. What's happened here? She's still down. Leave her go. She's okay. What happened here? She's still down. Leave her go. God's working in her. She needs you to live up to your promise. And you need her. And you need your kids. Did you hear that, guys? Hey, guys, did you hear what your dad just said? Tell, tell your kids. You tell them. I mean, all of us. You guys are my family.
guys going to give him some more grace? Huh. Yeah. yeah, we love you too. You what? We love you too. <laughs> Same goes for here. Yeah. I, I hope you change it. She got hit. The wife got hit. You know why she carries most of it? I, I don't like this rush feeling. I don't like it. I don't like it. We should do this. We should schedule three days. Right? I don't know. Two days. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It goes so quick. Ma'am, bring her to me. Bring her. Wow, look at this. She got hit hard here. Wow. I hit you. Holy Ghost hit you. There she goes. There she goes. She's buckling. Get ready. Catch her. Let your boys catch her. Let the boys catch her. Let the, let the boys catch her. Wow. Look at that. She's out on her feet. Look at that. I need a hanky. I don't have one. I need a clean, clean hanky. <laughs> Anybody have a Kleenex? I'll take a, I'll take a pink Kleenex, a white Kleenex. Oh Lord. <laughs> you know, it's great that God intervenes. But you gotta go with it. You can't just bypass intervention. This is a big U-turn taking place here. They're at an intersection of life. This is good. Look at me, both of you young guys, look at me. This is good. This is your mama now, not just your dad, but your mother. This is how much your mother loves your father. He said the what word, I need my family. You guys are rare to have a dad that shows up at miracle services. It's rare. Oh, Is that right, Bob? Is that right? Oh, Lord Jesus. Did you push me? Who pushed me? You did. You snuck up here and pushed me. I feel the power. I feel the power. Stay close. <laughs> I think we're getting ready to close. I do. Come here, man. Hurry up. We're going to do this again. Get on my email. Make sure you leave this building. I have your email because you'll know when the next meeting is. We have a good Friday service scheduled. It'll, it, we have it. I believe we even, I'm not sure we have the room, but we will. Ma'am, quickly, what is this? What is this? I mean, what is this? What do you need? What do you oh, need? Oh, I want to deliver from um, my, uh, pains in my back and um, my neck. And I had a car accident at the end of November. How bad is it? It's not that bad. It's getting better. It's being healed. Christ is <laughs> <laughs> It's getting a lot better. I have to say that. Most I can deliver from being depressed. Every time yeah. I'm depressed. Touch her, Jesus. Touch her. Touch her, Jesus. See the nice carpet you fall on? I fell on marble floor. I was laying on a marble floor for... Ma'am, would you just receive it? Just receive it. One prayer fits all. Come on. Just say, I receive. Say hallelujah three times, then move into I receive. It's more important to him that you receive. I want to get to
this girl over here with the hat and the, what's his family? What's this? What, who, who belongs to who? Um, I don't know if you guys know his family or not. Yeah, I'm just not in touch with him at the end. But um, this is my grandpa, and he struggles with his knee really, really badly. So grandpa's tonight. Who's this? This is my little brother, Micah. Micah. And who's this? This is so your stepmother Jen. and your grandfather. And my grandfather. And your dad or stepdad? My dad is right there. Hey. That's the dad. Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave the room. You're going to miss this. I'll tell you what. It's been one episode after another. How blessed we are to see God work at the Holy Hilton. Sometimes we're at the Mary Marriott. <laughs> Sometimes the wonderful Wyndham. I refuse to just be thing named secular. You change the label. You change the room. I don't know who was in this room before, but I care you I'll tell you what. Who comes in this room after tonight? <laughs> It's going to be amazing. What are you taking your, what are you doing? Huh? Describing, what are you describing? All the healings and the testimony. Your name's Irene, right? Irina. Irina. <laughs> so what's the, what's the need here? Osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis. And you, young girl? For myself, I want a healing for a virus that only God can for heal. What? For A virus that only God can heal. HSV1. Okay, I'm, I'm not understanding what you're saying. Cold sores. Cold sores. They break out all the time? No, but I want to use my healing to help others. Good and, girl, good girl. And my niece. And your niece, okay. And the little guy over here? You don't know. He, he just wanted to meet you. He just wanted to meet me. Come on over here. What's your name? Micah. Micah. Micah, Micah, I want you to write this down for this little kid. Micah chapter 6, verse 8. Here's what it says. What does the Lord require of you but to do justly, to walk humbly, and walk greatly with thy God? Micah 6, 8. That's for you. Write that down for me. Okay? By this mighty touch of the Holy Ghost. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Should I touch you? What, what do you? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? I'm going to touch your sister first, and then I'll touch you last. You want to be last? Okay. I'll touch this by the Holy Ghost. Oh Jesus, Jesus, come on over here. Come on. Put those hands up, Micah. There's an anointing on you, young boy. You're called. You got a heart for people. Before you get too polluted, you'll be called at a tender age. God won't have to do a lot of filtering and, and delivering. He's going to spare you from a lot of the wickedness that's in the earth. At a very young age, because the time of the end is so short, your calling is so near. By the Holy Ghost. Oh, wow. Woo. shout everybody come to the front come on come on down to the front oh holy holy can we do holy holy holy
God. Here we go. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. Lord God Almighty. Come on, as we lift our hearts. As we lift our hearts before you as a token of our love. Holy, 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 holy. Precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. Precious of this. You, I don't even know. You've never been here, have you? This is your first time. What do you think of this? Very, very humble for this experience, knowing that the Holy Powerful word of the Lord is true. All you have to do it would be in vain. It would be in vain if you see all this and you leave here without it. Then you miss the greatest healing of all. From the outside in, He can help you, but from the inside out, oh my! The kingdom comes to you. Everything begins to accelerate. He's a much better job at managing us than we are managing ourselves. He's full time, and he talks a lot. Sometimes he whispers, and sometimes he shouts. Sometimes he just reminds you what he's taught you. But you can't know the fullness of him if you don't give him more of you. Tonight, I want you to do that. I want you to give him your life. I want you to rededicate your life. I don't want you to waste another great service by just being a spectator. He's coming soon for a bride without spot or wrinkle. He's coming soon to take us away. It's not that far away. How many, how long we don't know that. But from the way these people are operating in Washington, it could be very soon. <laughs> Andre Crouch wrote that song, Soon and Very Soon. He wrote that back in the 70s. It seemed like, wow, Andre, it is very soon. How many years? Well, it's 50 years later. Time isn't moving on. 
Like that song says, every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. I want you to put your hands up. I want you to pray with me. And especially those of you tonight that need to make that commitment to him. I don't want you to think you are. I want you to hope you are. I want you to know you are. Many people today all over the world passed away. Many in every country. Some by disease, some by accident, some by shark attack, some by a bullet. All over the world. Every 60 seconds, over 83 people go into eternity. I was just in Las Vegas doing a crusade in Las Vegas a while back, and I went into the some, around to some places where Frank and Sammy and Dean, you know, the Rat Pack, famous Rat Pack. They're not there now. They ruled that strip. They ruled it. They were the kings of the strip. But they're gone. They're just gone. And I went down to a couple of the places where they hung out the most, and there was their picture. But where are they? They ruled here, but where are they today? I hope they're there. But I'm not that naive person that says there's a better place and everybody's there. I'm not that naive. Why? I read the Bible. The Bible will take you out of being naivety. Come on, it'll take you out of that. There's right and there's wrong. There's truth and there's error. And at some point, you should care where you spend forever. Boy, this is such a short time here. I'd like you to pray this prayer tonight and mean it, and that's all it takes. It's because of what he did, not what you're going to do. It's him. It's all him. We're saved on credit and we're healed on credit. How you get it by his stripes, not by your behavior. We hope that you had kind of changed like these kids wanted their dad to change. There's people around you maybe don't want you to change. Maybe you're too busy trying to get other people to change. We all want to change everybody. We can't even change ourselves. We can ask him to tonight. How about that? Let's put our hands up. He's been good to us tonight. He's left us see him, feel him, hear him. And there's people walking out of here tonight that have experienced their miracle. And I believe there's many more of you that still will. Those seeds went into you tonight. And he's working. Don't think nothing happened. That's the worst thing you could think. Pray with me, dear Jesus. I need to make a U-turn. And get back to you. And let you be in charge of me. Yet again. To be my Lord and Savior. To assure me that my name. Is written in the Lamb's book. That Lamb's book of life. I don't want to miss heaven. Because of a good time here. I don't want to miss heaven. Because I'm around a lot of unbelievers. I don't want the wrong influences. Keep me out of a good eternity. I believe in heaven. I believe in a devil's hell. It wasn't made for believers. It was made for the devil and his angels. If a person goes to hell. They choose to go there. I'm not choosing that. I want to go to the other place. That place with the Lord Jesus, where I'll meet the great people of the Bible, great friends, and other people that I never got to know here, that I'll meet there and spend the rest of eternity exploring the glory of the Lord. Lord, I'm willing to change but I can't do it by myself. I can't do it in one day. I need you to give me the grace and the empowerment to make better choices starting tonight to move towards you and to trust the process of transformation. I will never deny you 
I will admit to everybody, I have accepted Jesus. He is my Savior and my Lord. I will never back down if I'm ever asked about you because I need you now and I will need you the rest of my life. Forgive me big time for everybody I've ever hurt, including you, for all the wrongs that I've done to you and others. I need help. I need a savior. I don't need a king. It's not a new president. I need a savior, one who paid a price that I could be cleansed and made brand new. And that's why I want you tonight. And I'll be boldly able to say, I need Jesus. I accepted Jesus. I'm going to live for Jesus. Come on, give God a big shout. Come on. Come on, give him a big shout. Come on, give him a shout tonight. Who here at this altar feels better tonight that you've been here? Who feels that something got healed sitting out here? Who got a healing, in, any back healings, any, any, he, I, what happened? Bipolar, buy to it. You notice a difference in your thinking. That's pretty serious stuff right there. Anybody else? Who else? Anybody with vision? Anybody? Beth Ann? You're breathing a lot better. Whew. Something started burning in your belly. Wow. Anybody? Quickly, anybody? Tell me while you're here at this altar. Yes, ma'am. Pain and headache in the temple. It's gone. Wonderful. Who else over here? What happened over here? Who are we talking to? Headaches for weeks. They're gone. How about that? 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 Wow. How about that? Who else? Anybody over here? Yes, ma'am. You're bleeding, gums. And you're not bleeding. Look at that. Look at that. Well, your teeth aren't bleeding now. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yes, ma'am. A long marriage relationship. Your husband made it to heaven, and you're being healed of that. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Anybody quit? I don't want to miss anybody. Yes, ma'am. Hold your bladder. Hallelujah. <laughs> 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 hurry, hurry, before we close. Hurry. Anybody else? Where, where? Huh? Her feet are burning. Beautiful. Anybody else? Quickly. Yes, sir. Abdominal pain left. Beautiful. Come on, we're going to close with the Lord's Prayer. Here we go. Our Father. Come on.
into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Come on! Whoa. 